Welcome to a tribute to one of the most iconic reigns in UFC history, the legendary title reign of Anderson Silva as the middleweight champion. Silva, known for his unparalleled striking skills and mesmerizing performance inside the octagon, holds the record for the longest title reign in UFC history, spanning an astonishing 2,457 days from 2006 to 2013. During this period, Silva set a UFC record with 16 consecutive victories, solidifying his status as one of the all-time greats of mixed martial arts. In this video, we will take a nostalgic trip down memory lane, reliving Silva's incredible run as the middleweight champion. From his electrifying knockouts to his masterful ground game, we will revisit each of Silva's 16 fights during his impressive win streak. Though Silva's reign eventually came to an end with his first loss to Chris Weidman, the impact of his legacy in the UFC is undeniable. So let's step back in time and pay homage to Anderson Silva's remarkable journey as we recount the moments that define his legacy as one of the most awe-inspiring fighters in MMA history. Fight number one, Anderson Silva versus Chris LeBen. In his UFC debut in 2006, Silva wasted no time making a statement against Chris LeBen. At this point, few fighters had witnessed Silva's striking prowess, but LeBen quickly learned the hard way. Despite LeBen's five-fight win streak and boastful predictions, Silva showcased his dominance with relentless precision. In just 49 seconds, Silva delivered a flurry of strikes that left LeBen stunned and overwhelmed. Good head kick. Oh, God, goes. It was a spectacular display of Silva's striking skills, and it marked his arrival in the UFC with an emphatic victory that sent shockwaves through the middleweight division. Silva's debut set the stage for its legendary win streak, leaving no doubt that he was a force to be reckoned with within the octagon. Furthermore, Silva also secured UFC middleweight title eliminator as well as knockout of the night with this fight. Fight number two, Anderson Silva versus Rich Franklin. Silva's second win in his legendary streak came against the highly regarded Rich Franklin in 2006. Franklin, who was the number one ranked middleweight in the world at the time, was expected to pose a formidable challenge for Silva. However, Silva wasted no time asserting his dominance. With his lethal striking and clinch work, Silva quickly overwhelmed Franklin. Utilizing his tie clinch, Silva delivered devastating knees to Franklin's body, leaving him gasping for air and struggling to keep up. Silva's striking continued to be relentless, and a knee to the face ultimately spelled the beginning of the end for Franklin. Referee John McCartney intervened to save Franklin, and Silva's victory signaled a new era in the middleweight division. It was another dominant performance by Silva, showcasing his incredible skill set and setting the stage for his historic win streak. Once again, Silva won knockout of the night from this performance as well as the middleweight championship, and with this, the foundation for a remarkable win streak was set by Silva. Fight number three, Anderson Silva, versus Travis Luter. Silva's third win in his historic win streak came against Travis Luter in 2007. Luter, who had earned a shot at the middleweight championship by winning the ultimate fighter, failed to make weight for the fight, but was still a formidable opponent with his jiu-jitsu skills. In the first round, Luter managed to get on top of Silva and baited him into a mounted position. However, in the second round, Silva's long limbs came into play as he locked up a triangle and unleashed a vicious elbow on Luta. The combination of Silva's grappling and striking forced Luta to tap in what would have been Silva's first tower defense if Luta were to have made weight. Fight number four, Anderson Silva versus Nate Marcord. In July of 2007, Silva faced Nate Marcord who was considered to be his toughest challenge yet. However, Silva's dominance was once again on full display. From the beginning of the fight, Silva showed no fear of going to the ground, even throwing a flying knee at Marcord. The turning point came when Silva landed a straight left that hurt Marcord, followed by a powerful shot on the ground. Marcord turtled up, unable to defend himself, and the referee stepped in to stop the fight. This victory marked Silva's first successful title defense and showcased his exceptional striking skills and ability to finish fights. 
solidifying his status as the reigning middleweight champion. Fight number five, Anderson Silva versus Rich Franklin number two. In their second encounter in 2007, Silva continued to showcase his dominance over Franklin. While the fight made it to the second round, Silva's striking was once again too much for Franklin to handle. Towards the end of the first round, Silva caught Franklin, causing him to buckle and nearly finish the fight. Silva's showmanship was also on display as he dodged several of Franklin's strikes with flair. In the clinch, Silva continued to deliver punishing blows, further damaging an already hurt Franklin. With this victory, Silva secured his second consecutive title defense, further establishing himself as the dominant middleweight champion. Fight number six, Anderson Silva versus Dan Henderson. In their highly anticipated UFC Pride Unification bout in 2008, Henderson was billed as Silva's greatest test to date. Henderson, the Pride welterweight champion, took the first round, showcasing his skills. However, Silva quickly turned the tide in the second round. He landed key strikes that took Henderson down to the ground and finished the fight with a submission. People from this position alone without even the choke. Dancing, dancing, deep trouble. Yeah. Oh. Silva's ground and pound opened up the choke, resulting in Henderson's third loss via submission, all of which were the fighters with black belts in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. With this victory, Silva secured his third consecutive title defense, further cementing his dominance as the middleweight champion. Fight number seven. Anderson Silver versus James Irvin. In his light heavyweight debut in 2008, Silver made a rare appearance, weighing in at 205 pounds on free TV. Coinciding with Fyodor Emilian Inko's debut for Affliction on the same night, Silver took his time gauging Irwin for most of the minute. Then Irvin threw a kick that caught Silver, and Silver countered with a blistering straight left that dropped Irwin. The fight could have been stopped at that point, but Silva continued to punish Irvin with more strikes. The final blow was particularly vicious, showcasing Silva's striking prowess and dominance. The fight lasted a mere 61 seconds, marking Silva's seventh win and a successful debut in the light heavyweight class. Fight number eight, Anderson Silva versus Patrick Cote. In his fourth title defense and eighth win, Anderson Silva faced Patrick Cote in 2008. Cote became the first fighter to take Silva into the third round, but unfortunately, he suffered a knee injury, resulting in a premature stoppage of the bout. Got a little cut on his head, but he's just oh, oh no! Throughout the fight, Silva showcased his dominance, toying with Cote and experimenting with new techniques. Silva displayed his striking prowess with leg kicks, head kicks, and punches from various stances, keeping Cote at bay. He also showed his grappling skill with a takedown and ground control. Despite Cote's efforts, Silva remained composed and elusive. The fight ended in an anticlimactic manner due to Cote's injury, but Silva's dominance was evident as he continued to reign as the UFC middleweight champion. Fight number nine, Anderson Silva versus Thales Leites. In Silva's fifth title defense against Thales Leites in April 2009, Silva showcased his superiority as the better fighter. Despite Leites' constant clinching and takedown attempts, Silva demonstrated his striking skills and successfully defended against the takedowns. Silva had multiple opportunities to finish the fight both standing and on the ground, but he chose not to engage in Leites' jiu-jitsu game. This passive approach led to a lackluster performance that disappointed some fans who were expecting the aggressive Silva they were accustomed to. Nevertheless, Silva secured the win, marking his fifth successful title defense, but also turning some fans against him. The fight highlighted Silva's dominance, but also began to bring criticism from fans for his cautious approach. Fight number 10, Anderson Silva versus Forrest Griffin. In his second fight in the light heavyweight division and 10 consecutive win, Silva faced former UFC light heavyweight champion Forrest Griffin in August 2009. Griffin, known for his size and ground game, was expected to pose a threat to Silva. However, Silva's dominance was evident from the start. He made Griffin look foolish with his striking, delivering a series of devastating knockdowns. Silva's knockout of Griffin was described as one of the most embarrassing in UFC history, showcasing Silva's striking skills and precision. Look at Silva. I mean, that's just amazing. Oh, again, again. Oh, Boris Griffin. Wow. 
The fight lasted only 3 minutes and 23 seconds, but Silva's performance was a display of pure brilliance, solidifying his dominance in the octagon. Fight number 11. Anderson Silva vs. Damian Maya. In his sixth title defense and 11th consecutive win, Silva faced Damian Maya in April 2010. Despite Maya being a skilled fighter, Silva's dominance was evident throughout the bout. Silva chose to taunt and talk to Maya instead of engaging in a more aggressive manner. While Maya had some success in the later rounds, by that point the fight was already out of reach. Silva retained his title but his performance turned him into a polarizing figure as fans were disappointed with his lack of engagement in showboating. Nonetheless, Silva's dominance in the octagon remained undeniable. Fight number 12. Anderson Silva vs. Chael Sonnen In 2010, Anderson Silva faced a formidable challenger in Chael Sonnen, who was not expected to be a serious threat to Silva's reign. Silva entered the bout with injured ribs, which was revealed after the fight. Sonnen dominated Silva for four and a half rounds, showcasing superior striking and grappling skills. Silva was on the brink of losing his title, but in a moment of sheer brilliance, he executed a desperation triangle choke that forced Sonnen to tap out. A record setting with triangle. Triangle. Watch out. triangle. Oh, and Anderson Silva. Silva. Silva retained his title in a spectacular fashion, creating one of the greatest moments in MMA history. Despite facing adversity, Silva's legendary skills and ability to come through in a clutch moment were undeniable. With a 12-fight undefeated streak under his belt, it was clear that Silva was a legend within the sport and there seemed to be no signs of his dominance slowing. Fight number 13. Anderson Silva vs. Vitor Belfort in 2011, Silva faced off against Vitor Belfort in a highly anticipated fight fueled by their history and exchanged words leading up to the bout. Belfort came out aggressively, looking for a knockout and almost caught Silva on the ground. However, Silva quickly regained his footing and delivered one of the most spectacular kicks in MMA history. Like we said, second to none. <laughs> Belfort's eyes rolled back as he fell, and Silva followed up with precise strikes on the ground securing another title defense. Joe Rogan's iconic call, he front kicked him in the face, captured the moment perfectly. Silver's striking prowess and ability to finish the fights in spectacular fashion were on full display, solidifying his dominance as the champion with his eight title defense. Fight number 14, Anderson Silver versus Yushin Okami. In August of 2011, Silva faced Yushin Okami in a highly anticipated fight as the headline of UFC's return to Brazil. Silva had the opportunity to avenge a previous disqualification loss against Okami that had bothered him for years. Okami gave Silva space to strike, and Silva capitalized on it, touching him up with precise strikes throughout the first round. In the second round, Silva landed a deceptive punch reminiscent of Muhammad Ali's anchor punch that dropped Okami to the ground. On both winners tonight by knockout. He rocks him again. Silva quickly followed up with ground strikes securing a finish and erasing the memory of his earlier loss to Okami. With this victory, Silva bagged his ninth title defense, further solidifying his dominance as the middleweight champion. Fight number 15, Anderson Silva vs. Chael Sonnen 2 In 2012, Silva faced his biggest rival, Chael Sonnen, in their highly anticipated rematch at UFC 148. With Sonnen's trash talk and their previous bout fresh in everyone's mind, UFC 148 was a can't-miss event. Sonnen came out strong, taking Silva down in the first round and replicating their first fight. However, Silva defended well in the second round, forcing Sonnen to stand. In a surprising move, Chael attempted a spinning back fist but missed, leaving himself open. Silva capitalized with a precise knee to the sternum, followed by unanswered punches that forced the referee to stop the bout. With this victory, Silva notched his 10th title defense, putting an end to one of the sport's biggest rivalries. Fight number 16, Anderson Silva vs. Stefan Bonner In 2012, Silva's final victory to date came against Stefan Bonner at UFC 153. Despite the fight being on short notice due to injury, Silva showed his dominance from the start. He made Bonner look silly, dodging strikes and playing with him like a cat with a mouse. Silva used his striking and grappling skills to keep Bonner off balance. In a pivotal moment, Silva used a trip to off balance Bonner and followed up with a well-placed knee that dropped Bonner to the ground. 
Silver then finished him with follow-up shots. Swarms him. This victory showcased everything that fans loved about Silva and solidified his status as the greatest of all time. His incredible run of grandeur is hard to imagine being surpassed by anyone else in the sport. And there you have it, guys. Not only has Anderson Silva left an indelible mark on the world of MMA with his incredible career, but he is also set to be honored in the UFC Hall of Fame. Silva will enter the UFC Hall of Fame as the 19th member of the Pioneer Era Wing, a category that recognizes athletes who turned professional before the adoption of the unified rules of mixed martial arts. UFC President Dana White has praised Silva's remarkable achievements, including his 16-fight winning streak, 10 successful title defenses, and almost seven-year reign as middleweight champion. Silva's impressive resume includes numerous UFC records, such as the longest winning streak, longest title reign, most wins, most knockdowns, and second most consecutive title defenses in middleweight history, among others. His artistry inside the octagon has earned him a well-deserved place in the annals of UFC history. Congratulations to Anderson Silva on this prestigious honor. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Anderson Silva's remarkable career. We drop new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a beat. Click right here to watch our video on another legendary fighter that played a huge role in shaping MMA into what it is today. Trust us, you don't want to miss it. Well, you can watch one of our videos recommended by the algorithm. Either way, thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one.